frig. This is frustrating. That's always how it goes. Something just, oh, I'll just take out four bolts and take a thing out. Well, it's not always that simple. Okay, boys. Working on the 2013 Sportsman 850. So what I'm working on here is uh, changing this. This is the pinion plate. This is the front, the, the pinion gear. Goes into the differential here, front differential. So this here is your automatic descent control. So what's gonna happen is taking this whole piece out, this is being removed uh, and, it's, and it's a nice heavy duty pinion plate and it's gonna be long all the way out to here. But in order to do that, this thing sucker is really hard to even get at. Like it's a freaking ridiculous job. Easy, a little bit more work than on the uh, newer models, that's for sure. All right, update. So, uh, I got the top two bolts out of the pinion cover. That's the automatic descent control. However, these, this bottom one here, and then the opposite on the other side, can't freaking get, really get uh, an Allen wrench onto them. Because over here, there's not enough room. So, the instructions that come with the kit, so you take the bottom, the bolts out that, that holds the differential into the frame, take them out and then, well, it doesn't tell you why, but so that you can adjust the differential up. Well, lo and behold, that does shit because there's also a bracket. There's a bracket right here that's bolted on, bracket on the other side. And then also up here, we got where the uh, power steering unit is. Oh, there we are. Up here we got the power steering unit. So I don't really know how the frig. So maybe I gotta take these two bolts out. Not in the bolt. But then you only I'm only gonna get a quarter of an inch. Which I mean that's probably all I need, but well I got a conundrum going here, boys and girls. So doing the pinion plate here. It's proved to be a challenging little job. As it always is, all you gotta do is take out four bolts. Yeah, yeah, that's always that easy. So the problem where we're at right now, this one right here, you couldn't get at it very well. Now, I unbolted the diff, it wasn't moving. Uh, I went, got, finally got, I went, had to go and get some new uh, metric uh, T-handle bit. Uh, T-handle bit Allen wrenches, which I never had and always should have. So I got those, got the uh, three of four out. So I had one of four left. Without trying to un unbolt anything else, I tried to get the new the new uh, Allen wrench in there. Look at it, I don't know if you can see it in that. It's freaking, I bent it a little bit. But the problem is you're hitting the drive shaft. I got it, I got it uh, mounted up there now. But there's no freaking room in this freaking thing to work. So I've got it bolted up a little bit. I've got the diff up just maybe quarter to Quarter of an inch, five sixteenths maybe. It's enough to get a straight run on it. But now, of course, the uh, the head stripped on this little bugger right there. So we're gonna have to come up with some ingenuity and uh, maybe get a chisel on it, make a flat line in it, and get it out. The thing is, is they're not torqued too too bad. Um, they just need a pop to come off, and then it'll come out. But uh, yeah, what a pisser. Anyways, uh, always a learning curve, and uh, we'll press on. Okay, hey boys, calling to feed on trying to fix, trying to cut this. So this is the one uh, Alan had bolt. Why don't you get the frig out of the way? This bolt here, the fourth of fourth bolts, couldn't get it out. It was jammed, stripped. So I tried cutting with a chisel. So I get a screwdriver onto it. It's just not, you know what? There's no room to work. Biggest problem is there's this ear. Focus, right, right here, there's this big ear that hangs down, and you can't get proper leverage, you can't get on this straight. What a freaking pain in the nuts. So, I'm gonna pull the axles, just pull the diff freaking right out. I'm done dicking around with this. Like, I could screw around, like, you know, for three more hours, then I'm gonna end up pulling the diff, so. Let's just figure out the best way to do it on this machine. Probably pop one or two of the ball joints out, maybe the top one, shock, 
get that one out of the way, I can probably flip it down, pull the axle out. Just that easy. Well, well anyways, we'll give it a go. All right, moving on. All right, we're back. The long pinion plate, heavy duty pinion plate is installed. So what I had to do, whoa, sorry there boys. What I had to do, it was on the old piece, this one bolt here ended up getting stripped because I might've been a little quick to try to get it out when I really could have taken something else apart and maybe got a little bit more clearance. But it, nonetheless, it was very challenging to get at the way it's built. Now, so what I ended up doing, it's enough pissing around, so I have to take the diff out. But let me tell you, um, I should have, you know, it was a mistake was to just start pissing around with it, guessing what to do rather than go and try and find the service manual. Uh, because then I found the service manual uh, later on at night uh, on the port, on the sportsman, on a Facebook page, a sportsman's group. Someone had to post a bunch of the uh, service manuals. Man, that was awesome. So if you knew the order of things you're supposed to do, that would have made it immensely easier. But that's the way that she freaking goes. But uh, the pinion plate's on. Gotta say is that uh, notwithstanding, you know, having to move around with the differential, take the axles out and, the, and everything, which I've done multiple times. I have no problem doing that. But I would definitely say this, if you've got a 2013 or the older style with the automatic descent control, um, yeah, it's not, it's not a, it's a, it's a pretty difficult job uh, to change because it's not that simple. It, uh, I mean, with anything, once you know, once you know the method of operations, it's not that bad, but you got to cut and solder the wires, uh, put a resistor in it. I mean... This kit from, uh, sorry, this piece from Custom Motor Quad, it uh, it fit, it did its job. The instructions were pretty good, but it uh, didn't really give you as much information on, you know, how, what was set up, what you had to take off for this application. Uh, but, uh, you know, you got to have use some ingenuity and uh, so certainly you need to know if you're in over your head. But, I mean, like, I had to take off, like, you had to disconnect the friggin', uh, where are we up here? Like, you had to disconnect the friggin' uh, the, tire, the inner tie rod ends. I mean, you, can, you can't even hardly get a wrench in there with all of them. Like, it's tricky, you know. So, time-consuming, long, but... And, of course, the other thing that's a real pain in the nuts. This right here, this is the bottom bearing for the steering stem. There's a bracket. It rests, it's supported by the front differential. So, you gotta dick around with that just to get move the front differential around. Now I was gonna take it right out, but I was having some problems because I couldn't get it out the way that it's supposed to. It's supposed to go out the left-hand side. There's a way that it comes out. But uh, yeah, there's a lot more shit you got on bolt, but I got it. I got it enough so I could uh, get one my, my stuck bolt out and uh, we move forward. We got her together. Anyways, we'll check back in once we got everything uh, back together. Blew the doors right off it. Blew the doors right off it. I could never get through with the podium. 